Okay. okay. Begin, yeah. yeah, I expected to come in here and you know, I expected sex to be happening all over. No, no, no we only we have orgies on Friday afternoon. Friday three. afternoon. Okay, it's, it's like casual Friday. But we've, you know. Yeah, but so we figure if we start at three, we're done by six. We mm-hmm. bring in about thirty naked girls. Gotcha. So, um, Mr. Paul Fishback. Yeah. We're um, my, uh, I'm Spock Buckton. We're from PopPorn.com. I want to thank you for uh, you know sure. allowing us in here. Normally, I'm quiet and I hide. Yeah. I won't do much. So. Normally, I do too, and that's not good for a guy who does interviews. Right. Here's an actual AVN award. Thank you. Thanks. So Ah, oh, shucks. My longtime friends. No, this is an actual Avian award. This is it. You can... You can let me sm- let me just feel one, because I know I'll never actually hold you one. Can smack- this award means so much to me, Paul. <laughs> and you can smack people on the head with it. Over there... What else do we got here? Over yeah. there is, a, is an I'm original squeezing. Woody Allen letter. This is the letter that Woody Allen sent to the Director's Guild, letting him know that he was going to direct everything he always knew about sex. You can see it was typewritten. We'll do the, the history lesson. Um, how exactly did this begin? Uh, 1982, mm-hmm. Philadelphia, yep. you know, I had published magazines throughout my career. Right. Going back to right. age 14, I published a wrestling magazine. Oh, really? People started to come into the video store. They were just getting VCRs for the first time, and mm-hmm. people wanted to see porn. Whoa. You know, I had seen maybe five my whole life. I wasn't a fan, yeah. and I would just be saying, you know, well, this one rents well, or this one's selling right, well. Right. This is a great box cover, and thought, well, there you go. There's the opening. They need a guide. But all our subscribers started to be video stores. All right. these new video stores were opening up, so we said, you know what? Trade publication. 25 years later? Eight years so. in Philly and the last 17 here, in, or 18 here in L.A. Very nice. Yeah. How, how do they treat you out here being a, like an Eagles and Phillies fan? I have so many Philadelphia friends out here. We, we're a little, little posse. Sport in, fans, yeah. Sports fans here suck in L.A. There's, they're they fake. Do. Unlike Philly, which is, uh, I'll, we had some uh, some uh, studio owners in town. I won't mention the names, but they know who they are. The Eagles had lost a Monday Night Football game. Right. And uh, the night ended, it actually ended in blood. There was, not yeah. death, but blood. So Lots of it. Yeah, of course. You see, the, I didn't know you were coming. I didn't clean up, but. I didn't know I was coming either. But. There's a uh, Donovan McNabb and an Allen Iverson. We know those guys. Well, we know of them. And they gave me some money, but. This is, and this is a poker table that Wicked Pictures sent me. Do you know that they sent me the exact so, same one? Over, over all the years, if you could give me one memory that just kind of tops tops your list. One greatest memory? Well, I have a lot. Yeah. From a business level, when the famous Hal Freeman case, uh, the government, you know, and overturned a conviction. Right that used the pandering and pimping laws to say that Hal Freeman was shooting an adult film was actually involved in prostitution. It was overturned, and people could shoot here in L.A. That was a pretty big moment. That's great. Let's pre- if, if you could pretend that I was like some asshole like Richard Ashcroft or something like that, what would you have to say? John Ashcroft. John Ashcroft. I'm just, Richard Ashcroft. <laughs> Isn't it the singer of The Verve or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretend I'm John Ashcroft. Yeah. And I just, I just walk in the room. Oh, my God, it's... Paul Fishbein from AVN. What is your career like now that you're shamed, liar, ruined the Justice Department, have no... You, you, you probably will go to jail once they uncover everything that your department did. How, how does it feel to be off the, uh, off the pedestal and into the gutter? <laughs> Let's, I want to go over here and I want to talk about some of these wrestling... This is totally off topic, but we got, I see George Animal Steel over here. Well, right? you know, everybody has to have a hero. So I was 14 years old. Wow. I met George Steele at the Cherry Hill Centrum. Nice. And he also, I also somewhere have a picture of him holding AVN and with, with, you know, with his eyes bulging. Hey, this is an award I won in 1975 for the best quarterly magazine at the wrestling convention in Boston. Look how they spelled quarterly. Quartz Tilly. No, Quadley. Qu- oh, Just Qu- like they pronounce Quart- it up yeah. in Massachusetts. It's Wrestling fans thing. giving out awards can't spell. No. Um, do, you, do you miss the, like, the old days, ever? like the, the way movies were? No, I mean, I, I was more of the plot-oriented guy, oh, production that value guy, that and all guy, that. Yeah. But right now, just give me two hot girls yeah. that know how to kiss and I'm in. Like if girls are getting it on right in front of me, I will stand there and proudly salute with one hand and masturbate with the other but uh i don't know i you know maybe because i'm happily married i just like i just like watching girls all right i want to thank you i hope i hope i i i I expect to be winning one of those all right sometime start engraving now okay all right (laughs) and if it doesn't happen we know where your office is now (laughs)